Hey, Blue Devils. I hope you have had a great first week back. I'm Corey. And I'm Ian. Your books are on sale. Students can purchase these at the school website or at A303. They are $65, which is the lowest price of the year. Students can personalize their books with a name stamp for an additional $15. School pictures will be September 1st and 2nd. Dress your best. Step club trials are Wednesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. in room B303. And girls soccer play at home Thursday varsity at only at 6 o'clock versus Mount Juliet. Lebanon took on Gallatin and Greenbrier Tuesday afternoon at Long Hollow Golf Course. The boys play second with a score of 349, Greenbrier first with 302, and Gallatin was third with 252. Senior Ryan Wood led the Blue Devils with a low round of 79. The girls fell to Gallatin with a score of 157 to 188. Sophomore Daryl Mitchell shot a season low of 86. Lebanon will face off against the rest of the county in the Wilson County Cup on Monday at the Pinewood Creek Golf Course at 8 a.m. The girls varsity volleyball team won Monday night against Blackman High School. The Lady Devils won in four games with the scores 25 to 16, 22 to 25, 25 to 22, and 25 to 20. The Devilettes were led by Addie Grace Porter, Emily Lawson, and Avery Harris. The girls JV team won in two games against Blackman High School. Now let's see what's going on in the world of sports with Logan. Welcome back, Blue Devils. We hope you enjoyed your weekend. My name is Logan, and this is your sports news. The NHL closed out the first round Friday night with an exciting finish. Eight teams are remaining as the quest for the Stanley Cup continues. The remaining teams, the Philadelphia Flyers, New York Islanders, Tampa Bay Lightning, Boston Bruins, Vegas Golden Knights, Vancouver Canucks, Colorado Avalanche, and the Dallas Stars. It wasn't long between the first and second rounds as teams jumped right into action. Sunday night, the Vegas Golden Knights continued their offensive surge with a 5-0 shutout against the Canucks. This was Robin Leonard's first career playoff shutout. As we take a look at the East, the Bruins prevailed victoriously by a score of 3-2. Both the Knights and the Bruins lead their series one game to nothing and will look to advance 2-0 in their next game. Monday night, we saw a Central Division showdown between the Dallas Stars and the Colorado Avalanche. Colorado opened the scoring early with a quick 2-0 second period lead, but Dallas responded with five consecutive goals to take the win and a 2-0 series lead. We have lots of NBA action for you guys, so let's dive straight into it. We saw a couple of series sweeps Sunday as the Boston Celtics swept the 76ers by a score of 110-106. to In addition, the Toronto Raptors captured their first ever series sweep against the Brooklyn Nets by a score of 150-122. to We will continue to update you as the NBA first round comes to a close. Amid all of this playoff talk, the MLB is still in the regular season. As we spoke about last week, the LA Dodgers are continuing to win games. They were the first team to reach 20 wins this season, with the San Diego Padres four games back for first place in the National League West. Taking a look at some individual player stats for 2020, Fernando Tatis Jr. is in the lead with 12 home runs on the year. Mookie Betts has moved into second place with 11, as he has had multiple home run games in the past week. New York Yankees second baseman DJ LeMahieu is in the lead with a 4-11 batting average. And Shane Bieber leads the league with a 5-0 record, as well as 65 strikeouts and six starts this season. The season is looking bright for these young stars, and we will continue to keep you updated throughout the year. That's all I have for your sports news. Back to you guys. Thanks, Logan. Parking pass applications are available now outside the bank. In order to receive your pass, the bank needs a completed application, license, proof of insurance, and $20 cash or check made payable to LHS. Seniors can purchase parking passes Wednesday, August 25th and the 26th. Juniors can purchase them Thursday and Friday on August 27th and 28th. Everyone can purchase them Tuesday, September 1st. Since we will not have Club Rush, Student Council is developing a website that features clubs at LHS. Teachers, Landry Dixon is sent you an email. Be sure to respond ASAP. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Corey. And I'm Ian. And this is the news to you from the White and Blue.